Hi there, Danny here, Sick Biker Studio. Very, very rough trail bike, and I'm preparing for my three first in my life enduro races this season. Uh, it's good to know little about something in the cycling world, uh, because this is the discipline I'm just trying to touch for the first time. Uh, so today uh, I'm gonna talk about knee protection, elbow protection, maybe some body protection, body armor, and then the helmets for enduro. So I, I hope you will also help me to make decision what should I wear, because I'm gonna show you like two different levels of protection and also completely different levels of price. Let's start. The helmets, the helmets. This one here, I've got two helmets from Fly Racing. This is the default model, um, just over $100. And just over one kilogram of weight. Lots of different uh, ventilation um, holes here in it. It feels okay. It feels comfy. I, I don't really know how the helmet should feel on the Endura helmet should feel uh, on the head. Uh, all the pads are removable and washable, so that's that's good. Uh, the the dash here is adjustable as well. Doesn't feel like heavy, of course it's much heavier than my cross country helmet, but doesn't feel like very heavy, but I understand that making like 50-60 kilometers uh, during the enduro race for, for one day, it can make a difference in the hot weather. Uh, no MIPS here, this is a budget one. The second one we've got is the, also Fly Racing, Works Carbon. And this one, is the Sean Palmer edition. We've got here carbon, we've got uh, Kevlar, I think some titanium hardware as well. Uh, it's about 170 grams lighter than the default. Yeah, I feel a little, little bit of difference. That one was large, this one is medium and I think medium fits me even better uh, than the large one. Uh, a question to you guys, what's the real difference, practical difference uh, in, in a day of racing? Because they feel, both feel just fine. Uh, what about racing for five hours, right? So what will be the difference? Uh, this default model seems to have even more ventilation than uh, the works carbon. So that's an interesting thing. Guys, let me know what you think about this. Boom! This is the budget affordable protection I've got. What I've got here is, uh, I have the uh, the shorts of Alpine Stars. These are the uh, Drop Pro shorts. The graphics, amazing. You've got two uh, pockets with the zippers here on the sides. Nothing here. One additional right there, which is fine. The look, amazing. Um, the materials here on the inside I think will be durable because that's where uh, the materials and the saddle is rubbing against uh, each other so that's good to have it here another model I've got here this is too big for me so I'm not gonna wear it is the uh, Hyperlite 2 black I would I would wear black for muddy races uh, two pockets here and here without the zippers and one on the right side with the zipper. So this one here. So these also feel like okay shorts for, for trail riding or enduro. That's it. I have the knee pads. Uh, the model is the Paragon. And they feel, I must tell you, they feel amazing. Uh, I, I just I just forgot about any protection on my knees after a couple of minutes. Very flexible, very well done, no problems uh, with, with pedaling here. Really good. Then I have the, sh the long sleeve shirt and under the shirt I have also the Paragon um, elbow protection. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But as for the elbows, um, when I when I move my elbows, when I move my forearms and arms, I do feel like I'm pushing these away. Not as for the knee pads. Knee pads feel amazing, really amazing. 
more than enough for this price. Here, not that comfy, not that comfy. No problem for the long sleeve uh, jersey here, but these knee, these uh, elbow elbow pads, not that comfortable. So let me show you. And then, of course, the budget helmet. I am getting hot here, uh, but let's see the, the elbow protection once more. Okay, this is it. Uh, it's kind of bulky here. Uh, this is kind of like a spongy inserts, both here on the knees and here. Um, lots of different holes here. But these, these here flex nicely with my knee. Like almost an, like anatomically. This one, not that much. Not that much. Doesn't, it doesn't feel amazing. It's okay. Doesn't feel amazing. And so um, the Paragon, what it says, protection level one, flexible, lightweight, and ventilated. So this 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 spongy insert is vent has like kind of kind of a big holes inside. And let's remove this. I think this is my size. You can do such a thing with it, but it's not super comfortable. So let's compare it to the. Um, higher model, which is the Evolution. Evolution. I'm going to start with the Evolution jacket, which, which is really nice piece of protection. On the back, uh, we have the insert, the, the yellow one, you can see, I'm gonna show you. This is the insert for your back protection, and it's made of different layers of the protection here. I've got three. Uh, so you can you can remove those. Okay. But also while keeping still keeping this protection inside, you will be able to use it with the uh, hydration uh, backpack. I mean, you, do, you don't use backpack, you simply use the 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 insert of the backpack. So it comes in here. This is very flexible, cool. Uh, we've got uh, everything prepared for the um, for, for the whole hydration system. Uh, so here, these eyelets for your water. So this is this is cool. And then we have the inserts uh, on your shoulders, and then in the back we have two pockets. Like two kidney pockets, one here, one here, uh, with no zippers. Let's put it on. And as I must tell you, this thing feels good. It does feel good. I don't feel like I would I would need some some more mobility here. This feels good. It it really feels good. I'm not gonna say amazing. It feels good. I feel well in it, I feel protected. There's also some protection here, not very thick, uh, but it's there. So you can see like one, two, three. And this is just, just the material here, just the mesh. So that's cool. This is just one, one extra thing I want to tell you. I would buy this jacket, even for my level of racing and riding, this feels very comfortable and I feel that my back is protected. So this is, and this is also very, very versatile. You can do many things with it. You can have hydration, uh, two additional pockets, and this protection, it's not cheap, but this is my body, uh, my health. This is something I would buy, but from the practical side, let me know, do you need like, uh, drink more water if you if you wear this because you sweat more how comfy it is after hours and hours of use uh, let's turn to the to the pads uh, or maybe 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 in the meanwhile why not use some cool long sleeve jersey for it cool I, i'm loving it i am loving it yeah, the whole movement, everything, everything is great. Uh, okay, uh, now we have 
elbow protectors. Uh, this is the left one. Oh, I should have it just underneath. All right, this is the left one. And this one works differently. Not as the Paragon. This is the Evolution, right? So all I'm showing you is the Evolution line. Okay. So fully open from the inside. And I think it's, it is, yeah. The protection, yeah, it's much thicker and much thicker protection here on the outside. Some additional padding here on the sides. One, two, three, four. This is okay. But once again, this movement is not really super comfy as on the knee pads. All right, so let's put the right one. This is easy to put on. Boom, boom. All righty, knee pads, the right one. Okay, this is it. Okay. And this is it. This is how it looks like. Uh, comparing to, this is the Evolution. So I've got Evolution jacket, Evolution knee pads and, and elbow pads and elbow protection. The difference is, I do feel that the Paragon is more lightweight, which is no surprise here, right? Uh, and for my use, I feel like for my first Enduro races, where I'm not gonna be like slicing, slicing through the trails, unknown trails with 80 kilometers per hour, the Paragon would be enough. I really feel so. Um, since the knee pads are also more lightweight on the Paragon line, uh, I would prefer uh, that ones. I, I would, I really would. And I think, I think that 170 grams difference with the MIPS, MIPS protection also um, can, can be actually noticeable for, for a whole day of, uh, of a racing. So that's what I feel guys. Let me know what do you think because Evolution, just a couple of, of info here. Also uh, protection level one, flexible, lightweight, breathable, ventilated and then adjustable fit. That one was cool, maybe also because this was like the, the right size for me, but this is cool. And I think I would go for the Paragon. So now guys, please let me know what do you think if you race Enduro, if you train Enduro or some trail riding in these, in these, let me know what would be like the real practical difference during my training and racing. But that's basically it. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye. Ah. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Remember to join our forum that's sigbiker.com where we discuss all the topics, uh, training, service, any issues with the bikes. If you want to share anything with us, join our Facebook group. All the links are below. And if you want to join my patrons, feel free to do so. And now, okay, you might watch just one or two episodes more, but then let's go and ride. Achoo!